Hey everybody, uh, back here with another uh, multi-pick video. Uh, this is uh, with the multi-pick elite medium 27 piece Christina Palmer pick set that multi-lock was kind enough to send to me to try out. And um, the more hours I'm getting into these picks here, I actually do like them quite a bit. Um, I absolutely love the case and uh, the picks are pretty good too. They're comfortable. My, I've been picking locks here for a couple hours today, uh, just testing them out. And I've not done that in years and my fingers don't hurt like they do with the metal HPC picks. So the handles, you know, they're finished. They're not bad. And um, this video here, we're going to go ahead and single pin pick a mailbox lock, because uh, why not? Uh, I got it sitting here. I was going to do a leashy video making a key to it, and I haven't got around to it. So the reason we can't pick it old school style, though, with actual lock picks. And I'm going to try using a Euro hook on it. And uh, the number on this one, if you want to check it out, is uh, V54 on the multi-pick website. And I'll link the entire kit there, too, with the uh, promo code, too. That's 10% off anything on the website till the end of 2023. And um, so I don't make any money from that. But if you do want to check out the picks, um, save a few bucks, it's there. And I did want to show you something here in these bottom of the keyway tensioners. I just want to show you how thick they are. This is just, just one of the from a you know, windshield wiper insert. And this is the uh, multi-pick one. And just see the, you know, the difference in thickness on it. Uh, very nice. I think it's going to handle the dust uh, dust cover very well in this mailbox lock. And I'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get to uh, pick it on it here. First thing, we need to determine which way this thing actually turns. And since it's not on a mailbox, I can play with the actual back of it and figure out that it's got to go uh, clockwise here. That's where the give is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put our thick tension wrench in here. And with the dust cover out of the way and apply some tension to it. And um, let's see if we can go ahead and get this guy open using, and they call it a spoon pick on their website, but I call it a Euro hook. But anyway, I'm going to go through here and look for something binding. And I'm going to try to do this uh, on camera since we're doing a video. So I think it's a click on, I think that was three and four. One, two. May have overset something on here, but not going to give up yet. All right, we'll give up now. We'll start over here. Let me reset. Probably should dig out my old vice that I haven't used in forever, but let's still try it one more time free handed here. Actually got some rotation. I just hit number four, so it should be almost open here. And unfortunately, can't gut this without destroying it, so I'm not going to gut it. But so we can at least get it open. And the camera here is adding a little bit of difficulty to this, but reset here, try one more time. All right, so go through here. Let me just start from the front this time instead of the back. Click on one. Ah, there we go. Starting from the front actually worked here. So, got a pick. So that's a uh, yeah, mailbox lock. Uh, single pin pick there with the uh, multi-pick. I guess I'm calling it a spoon pick, but there'll always be a Euro hook to me. And like I said, the links will be in the description if you want to check this set out. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'll put them in the comments. And stay tuned to the channel if you want to hit the subscribe button. I am going to, at some point, leash you this lock and make a key to it. So that'll be coming up soon here a few days or something like that but anyway uh, that's all i got on this one guys um, i'm gonna probably try the rakes out next year so um stay tuned for that 